So are you a different version of yourself with each group of people, or more realistically, every individual person you interact with? Does your personality change depending on whom you're interacting with? Welcome to the Mind Wrench Podcast with your host, Rick Sellover, where minor adjustments produce major improvements in mindset, personal growth, and success. This is the place to be every Monday, where we make small improvements and take positive actions in our business and personal lives that will make a major impact in our success, next level growth, and quality of life. Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Mind Wrench Podcast. I'm your host, Rick Salover. Thanks so much for tuning in and spending a few minutes with me today. And if you haven't done so already, please hit the subscribe button so you never miss another episode. Hey, real quick, I want to ask a favor. If you enjoy the show and you enjoy what I do every week and you want to help support the show, go to www.buymeacoffee.com slash mindwrench. You can donate as much as you'd like, but literally for the price of a cup of coffee, and you know I like my coffee, for as little as three bucks, you can help support this show and keep it going and growing. You can find the link in my show notes, but once again, go to www.buymeacoffee.com slash mindwrench. Hey, I wanted to talk to you this week about something I've really dug into over the past year or so, a subject I've really read a lot about, as well as listened to multiple speakers talking about, and quite honestly, it's really been almost an obsession of mine on a daily basis for the past year. What I'm about to ask you right now should be instantly familiar with just about everybody listening. That's if we're being completely honest. And I would bet your answer would be, yep, that's me. Or yep, me too. Or yep, I know what you're saying. So are you a different version of yourself with each group of people, or more realistically, every individual person you interact with? Does your personality change depending on whom you're interacting with? Like, do you talk differently with your immediate family, you know, the family you grew up with, than your own spouse and kids? Are you more open and honest with your coworkers than with your supervisor or leader where you work? For example, I'm a different Rick as an employee than I am as a boss or a leader. I'm a different Rick with my wife than with my brother. I'm a different version of me with my kids than with my friends. Daytime Rick is not the same as nighttime Rick. You do know what I'm saying, don't you? Well, this week, I want to share a short clip from one of my favorite mentors and virtual coaches, Dean Graziosi. Besides being a multiple New York Times bestselling author, entrepreneur, and investor, Dean has started or played a major role in over 14 successful companies that have changed lives all around the world. Together with Tony Robbins, they're changing the future of education with their Knowledge Broker Blueprint system, which I'm a graduate of, and are changing and impacting tens of thousands of lives on a daily basis. Let's listen to Dean as he reveals the true meaning of what the best version of you really is and what you need to do to achieve it. Here's Dean. You know, we get so lost in being something for someone else. Do we really remember who we are? Answer that question honestly. Think about that. I mean, maybe you were somebody for your parents when you were younger. Uh, maybe you were someone for your teachers. Maybe you were someone for your first girlfriend, your first boyfriend. Maybe you're someone right now for your husband or your wife or, or your current situation with your parents. Or maybe you're someone for your boss. Maybe you're a certain someone at church on Sundays. And maybe you're another certain someone when the doors close and no one's watching. So who the hell are you? <laughs> I mean, what, what version of you is really you? And I want to, I want to, that's a thought provoking question on purpose because Life is going by so fast, it's unbelievable. And I mean, at least for me, I don't know about you, but the last five years, oh my God, it's on hyperspeed. I would slow it down. My, my kids right now are, are, as I'm sharing this, are, are nine and 11. Like five minutes ago, they were babies. And, and that means in five minutes from now, they'll be graduating high school. And five minutes after that, they'll be, you know, getting married, having their own kids. So let me ask you, are you wasting any time being someone that's not really you. You see, 
we are these, and, and we all do it. The, the, don't think as I say that, that I'm perfect and I'm just this oneness and per. No, uh, and I'm not. But I'm acknowledging it and I'm aware of it and I work on it because here's what I think. I think the ideal happiness, like we're all looking for happiness. We're all looking for more yay and less ah, right, in our lives. I think we can all agree that's true. But when you're being someone else for everybody else, are you really being true to the best version of you? See, we're someone in front of all these other people. And we're someone if we're a boss or if we're an employee or any of that stuff, right? But then who's the person late at night when no one's around? Uh, who's the person when you're thinking and your mind's just going? When, when the ego's not there, when the outside influences aren't there, when maybe you're a little bit more vulnerable. Who is that person? You see, here's what I know. Here's what I believe the definition of success is. First, it's knowing what success means to you. I know I'm being successful when. I know I'm being successful when I'm spending time with my family. I know I'm being successful when I have complete control of my life. I know I'm being successful when I have freedom to make the choices I want. I, first off is knowing what success means to you. And, but I think there's another layer, like there's another level. And another, uh, the next level is I know I'm being successful when I know who I am and I'm just being that. Imagine being congruent in all areas of your life. Everything, like your phone. You could leave it unlocked and open no matter where you go. If your boss was listening in or your employees were listening in or your business partner was listening in on every conversation of your life, you wouldn't care. If your spouse, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your parents were hearing what you said when no one was around. If your friends, then when you were with one group of set, set or one set of friends and you go with another group, if they could hear everything you'd say, it wouldn't matter. Imagine how successful, when I talk success, yes, I mean money, but I mean all the other pieces too. Imagine how successful we would be if we were just one version. There wasn't any hidden compartments. Do we all have secrets? Of course. I don't care who you are, unless maybe Mother Teresa. Uh, we all have secrets. We all have things that maybe we don't want everyone to know about. But if what if we could work? What if we could work over time to become so congruent that there's only one version of you, whether you're at church, whether you're at, at a bar dancing on a, on a table, whether you're uh, playing with the kids, you're at work or you're on a date night. Imagine just being one person. Now, I thought about that today because I realize how many hats I've worn in my life. I remember taking on partners you know, in my twenties because I needed the money. I was, I didn't have any money. I wanted partners to go to another level. And I took on partners that I would not choose to be friends with right now that caused me so much stress and pain, but I did it because I became a different person with them so I could get the money. Now, did it help? Uh, maybe. I, I remember a lot of stressful days having the wrong partners. And what I realize now that if someone could have told me in my twenties, in my teens that, you know what? Screw everything. The world is ready for the best version of you, not someone you emulate, not someone you watch on TV, not someone you think you have to be for different areas or different people. The world wants you, the universe wants you, God, whoever you believe in wants you being the best version of you, screw everything else. So what if you make the, 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 the decision today? What if you declare today that over the next month, the next six months, the next year, you are going to just work on being the best version of you. So not this version and that version and my mom's version and my dad's version, all these other versions. And a lot of times, you know, half of America comes from divorce, right? So you might've been one person from your parents, one for your dad. You might've been one person for your husband or wife or boyfriend or girlfriend and somebody else, right? So we learn to divide. But I really think as we get older, we're trying to put the pieces back together. So what I'm saying is why not decide today? Why not decide and declare at this moment? Yes, I'm talking about a lot because I want you to hear this. I don't want you just to be a, 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 a bystander and listening. I want you to hear what I'm saying. You're fragmented. So am I. We all are. We're trying to be too many things to too many people. When, it, when I believe with all of me, especially at this age of my life, 
that God, the universe, whatever you believe in karma, just wants you to be one whole person, be the best version of you. And I would bet my life there's so much more gas in the tank. You have not reached your full potential. You're not even close. There's so much more for you. And more could be more time with the people you love. More could be getting touch in touch with family members that you got distant from. More could be finding more happiness and joy. More could be finally taking up a hobby. More could be going to see movies. Whatever more means to you, it means it to you. So I'll end it with this. Think of all the different people you are. Decide who you really are. Soul search if you must. And then work on being the best, congruent, full potential badass that you are. Have an awesome day. Well, this is a different perspective than most of us normally would have, right? But isn't it how we really should be with everyone we deal with in our lives? Could you imagine how much simpler, how uncomplicated it could make our lives? Not having to be a different version of ourselves several times a day because we're afraid to be as open and honest as we are with our best friends as we would be with our coworkers or customers or relatives. At first glance, it seems like it would be impossible to be that congruent with everyone in our lives. But is it really? Think about it. Is it really? While every one of us may not be willing to get to that point, I think we all have the capacity to get much closer to that goal than we are right now. I know for myself, I'm working on being a better version of me each and every day. And I hope you are too. Well, that's all I had for you today. I hope you found something helpful in today's message that you can take back to your business or back home and immediately put into action and start making a positive difference in your professional or personal life. If you like this episode, please, please, please go to Apple Podcasts or Spotify and rate it, share it, and leave a review. When you share this podcast with others, that's how we grow. And when the show grows, I can serve more people with my messages. I appreciate you, and I hope you have an awesome and productive week. I can always be reached at www.ricksillover.com, where you can find all my social media links, podcast episodes, blog posts, and much more. Hey, we all know this past year has been really difficult for most of us to deal with. So if you have some areas in your life you really want to make a change, you really want to make improvements, you want to get to that next level, you have things you want to accomplish but just not really sure how to get there, you need some help, you need a guide, you need a coach, I'd love to be able to help you with some one-on-one -on -one coaching. Just go to my website, ricksillover.com, and go to the contact page and drop me a note or just instant message me on Facebook or Instagram. Weeknight and weekend appointments available right now. Hey, real quick, just a heads up. I'll be taking a much-needed break next week for some R&R &R and will not be recording an episode. So I'll see you right back here in two weeks.